हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज तामिया एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप्स व्हिच आई नेवर फॉलोड वाइल लर्निंग इंग्लिश स्टिल आई कुड लर्न इंग्लिश टू सम एक्सटेंट एंड नाउ आई कैन एक्सप्रेस माय सेल्फ इन अ बेटर वे सो इफ यू आर समन हु हैज़ नॉट बीन फॉलोइंग दीज स्टेप्स देन दैट्स परफेक्टली फाइन you can still speak english confidently and naturally but by making this video i do not mean that i want you to stop following them it's just that i have not followed them and that's what i am sharing so please don't think that if she has not followed them then probably they are not important it is important and if these steps are helping you to get better at english then keep following them because sometimes i regret that i wish i could have followed them but unfortunately i couldn't follow so my motive to make this video is just let you know that even though if you have not been following them it's all right so without further delay let's jump right in so the first step i have never followed is watching movie drama or any tv shows in english literally i have not watched even a single episode of any drama or shows or i have not watched movies even for a few minutes this is something may sound strange to you that i am someone who does not like watching movies at all i don't feel that this is a way to entertain myself and it does not only happen with english movies but i don't even watch hindi movies or movies in any other language so i was not always this kind of a person i did some kind of modification with my mindset around 2 years ago and from that time i started being quite productive and i started consuming different kind of content rather than wasting my time on watching movie or shows so instead of watching movies or any tv shows i prefer watching youtube videos and here on youtube you can find variety of topics which can entertain you as well i still remember one incident there was a drama which was available in english language and i really wanted to watch that because i got obsessed with the character of that drama because i saw a few clips of that drama somewhere and from that time i decided that i am going to watch it no matter what but the moment i started watching it made me feel so exhausted that i had to stop it right there so now i feel that watching movie or drama is something i can no do this is not my cup of tea i know watching movie is a fantastic way to immerse yourself in that particular language and understand native speakers accent because when they speak something in movies it sounds completely different and at first you may not understand what they are saying but after watching movies few times or multiple times you may get used to it and you can easily understand what they are saying and you can also learn a lot of new vocabulary and it will also help you to grasp that particular language in a short period of time but i cannot watch movies i have never ever watched movies but still i think i can learn english to some extent so the next step i have never followed is listening to song well i know music is a universal language and it's an enjoyable way to improve our listening skill but i am someone who does not like listening to song and i really have a hard time with it and it does not only happen with me with english song but i don't even listen to song in my mother tongue which is in hindi so i really have a hard time with it and i find it really really difficult because i cannot watch them i know many people do listen to song and they really find it enjoy enjoyable but i don't find it enjoyable at all next step i did not focus on was phrases idioms and slangs because i overlooked them i still remember when i first started learning english i got to know about phrases slangs and idioms but at that time i did not know the importance of them and i thought it is not necessary and that's how i neglected them 
and that's why i really have a hard time using phrases or slangs whenever i speak english and i still regret that i wish i could have paid enough attention to them i mean i don't regret not watching movies and not listening to song but when it comes to not focusing on phrases i still regret so if you are someone who has not been following this step then please start following because now i have also started but i really have a hard time with it because when it comes to using phrases in your conversation and whenever you speak it will really help you to improve your language skill and it will also help you to speak english more naturally because when someone uses phrases or any idioms and you don't understand it's really annoying and that's why i have started focusing on phrases and slangs and idioms so the next step i have never followed is reading novels or any story books i mean i have always chosen one particular topic which is all about non fiction well although it includes multiple topics like psychology finance self improvement i did cover these kind of topics but when it comes to reading story books and reading something different topics i could not do them at all but now i understand that when you are exposing yourself to variety of materials and different topics it will help you to build your vocabulary i know exposing yourself to variety of materials and to those topics which you have never covered is very important because in this way you can gain a lot of information so that's how i decided to immerse myself in different different topics but the moment i started reading something like that it didn't seem fascinating to me and i end up reading similar topic over and over again although i have realized as well that it's perfectly fine if you don't cover every topic it's perfectly fine because if you don't enjoy what you are reading and what you are watching you are not going to get any kind of benefit so it's better to watch and listen or read something which you find interesting so here are four steps which i did not follow in the journey of learning english although i do not feel regret that i wish i could have followed them but i know one thing is that if i could have followed them it would have changed my english to some extent but that's perfectly fine because i believe learning language is a journey and it's never too late to incorporate new steps into our routine so i would think to give them a try but let's see what happens so let me know in the comments below what are the steps you have been following to learn english and what you don't follow and how it's affecting your english so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you found it interesting so please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video bye